fruity, 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 fruity. Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. Welcome back to another Fruity Fruits episode where I taste fruits that are fruity. Today's video is going to be a continuation of one that I shot about two months ago for Noni Fruit. Today, I'm going to be tasting my Noni juice. Now, if you missed that Noni video, I'll put the link up above and down below, and you can check out that whole experience there. Noni fruit, if you're not familiar with it, is a tropical fruit that is known also as the puke fruit or the stinky cheese fruit. It is a very odoriferous fruit about this size, and it has a very pungent smell to it. And yes, check out the taste test if you missed that video. So besides having a very strong smell, noni is also known in traditional Polynesian medicine as a tonic fruit. There also have been some studies that have shown that noni shows anti-inflammatory and potential anti-cancer properties as well. So a lot of potential there if you can get over the smell. But as a tonic, noni was prepared as a juice. So after I did my noni taste test, I prepared my noni in the traditional fashion of just washing the fruit, putting it in a clean glass jar, and placing it outside in the sun. It's supposed to sit there for several months. Now this has been sitting for over two months, and it has turned into this. Oh my word. Now I've watched lots of videos, I looked at lots of references, and this is what it's supposed to look like. The noni turns into this kind of black, brown, fruit and the juice collects down in the bottom. So pretty unattractive, but I knew what I was getting into because when I looked at all the other references on how to make this fermented juice, this is exactly what the noni looked like. And you're supposed to let it sit in the sun, but here in New England, I live in Rhode Island, we are now coming into winter and there hasn't been a lot of sun. I actually had to bring this inside because we're experiencing freezing temperatures. Didn't want this to freeze, didn't want the glass to break. So I brought it inside and I've been letting it sit, but I've noticed this. This is something that I didn't see in other people's videos. And that my friends is a mold colony. So I paid $82 for a box of Noni to be shipped to me from Florida and I'm gonna try a couple of things. So when I researched making noni juice online, I read that you can pasteurize it. It's actually recommended that you pasteurize it. You bring up the noni juice to 160 degrees, and then after you do that, you can do a pH test. So I've got myself some beautiful litmus paper. It was recommended that the pH be in 3.5, which is in this range here, in this kind of red-orange range that is considered acidic. Right in the middle, when you have yellow, is neutral. That's what water is. And then down on this end is basic. And so if it's not in this red zone, I'm not gonna even attempt to try it. If you're at all like me, you're very curious to see what this smells like. So let's find out. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna be good, but let's, let's rubber gloves here and get this open. Okay, there we go. All right, from upon first crack, I'm not smelling anything. Oh boy. I'm slightly afraid. But don't be, Emmy, don't be. Ooh. Actually, it's much better. It's slightly there, but not nearly as strong. It doesn't smell bad, really that bad at all. It smells slightly medicinal, it's got kind of a astringent smell to it. It smells almost a little bit like um, slightly like turpentine or something. It has a little bit of a kind of piney smell to it. Wow, that's absolutely fascinating. It doesn't stink. Wow, I am so, okay, I'm a little bit relieved about that. Let me show you a shot of what this looks like inside. It's not pretty, y'all, it's not pretty. Gonna remove some of the noni fruit and put it into my compost pot here. And yeah, goodbye, thank you. Oh boy, see that one. Ugh. All right, compost. I'm gonna pour this into here. Whoa. I didn't get much juice at all. That's probably a third of a cup. I imagine I'm gonna end up evaporating a good portion of this, but we'll see. It smells pretty good, actually. 
none of that characteristic cheesy smell. Kind of amazing. Okay, I love fermentation. While we're on the tangent, have you gotten yourself a Tulu Take Care Buy shirt yet? If you haven't, you should definitely do that because there's only three days left of the sale. Okay, let's cook the noni. It's at 187, so this is already up to 10. Now that this is nicely pasteurized, I'm going to let that cool down a bit. Now, litmus paper is special paper that can tell you the pH of a solution. I'll dip that. Pour four or five by a good amount. When I first poured in there, I had about a half a cup. And now I've got more, about a third of a cup, about three ounces from that entire jar of noni. Alrighty, I'm going to give this the tiniest little taste. Here we go. Cheers. Wow. It is actually very, very acidic. And not nearly as astringent as it was when I had it in its raw form. When I had it raw, immediately you got this kind of tongue numbing sensation. It was very, very odd and lasting. This is very, very different. This is very tangy and sour. Almost as sour as, say, lemon juice. Not as concentratedly sour. And it has a similar flavor as the noni as well. A very interesting kind of pungent, slightly hoppy, bittery, turpentine flavor to it with a little bit of funk. But not nearly as funky and strong and fetid and cheesy as it, in its raw state. It's mellowed out a lot. It's tartened up a lot as well. So the fermenting process does change this. And I have to say, having it warm is a little bit odd as well. So I imagine if this was at room temperature, it wouldn't be so kind of odoriferous, I imagine. But not bad. I much prefer it in the juice form than in its raw form. And I think mostly that had to do with that very odd tongue numbing sensation. Also the smell. The smell of the raw form <laughs> was really, really tough. And also when you see it in this juice form and you don't see the really chunky, squelchy, soft fruit, it makes it more palatable. Alrighty, so there you have it, homemade noni juice. Let me know in the comments down below if you've ever had this particular juice before, the fruit before, or any other interesting fruits that you'd like to see me taste or try. Share this video with your friends, follow me on social media, like, subscribe, grab yourself a Tulu Take Care Bye shirt, and I shall see you in the next video. Tulu, take care, bye!